We need to figure out what Welcome back gamers to another game reduce episode. Today I want to share with you five different third person shooter games. This probably won't be the first time I share a third person shooter list, so I should mention that this is the low end PC slash free edition. Before we even get into the video though, I do just want to say that there is no particular order in the way I rank the games on today's list, but I'm sure that'll become apparent enough after watching the video through. One last thing, I would greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and hit that like button. With that being said, let's get right on into the video. At number 5, we have Warframe. This game has been around for quite some time, but the great thing about it is that the developers are still releasing content updates for the game. I only played a couple missions of Warframe, but I can easily say that the movement and combat of the game is unparalleled by any other game in its genre. I've barely even scratched the surface of this game, but there are also abilities that are unique to each character you choose at the start of the game when you're going through the tutorial. You can always change your character and even unlock new characters using in-game currency. Number 4, Robocraft. I'm not too sure whether or not there's another game out there like Robocraft, but I really don't think there is. You get to build your own freaking robot and take it into battle and blow other people's robots up. How cool is that? It's been a few years since I've last played this game and it looks like they've added a ton of new parts and features. I didn't take much time to look at everything though. I picked one of my old robots and went into battle. It did not go well at all. I probably should have taken the time to look at the new parts and upgrades and honestly it probably doesn't help that I still have my high rank as well. If you've never played this game before, I highly recommend you try this game out so you can finally build that killer robot you know you've been wanting to build. Number 3, Gun Z, or Gun, on something like that. Anyway, this is a really cool third person shooter that feels like it was modeled to be an anime type of game. At least that's the feeling I get when I play the game. The game features different online modes to play, and when you reach a certain rank, you're even able to play in rank matches like most competitive games. Though the servers did seem to be a bit dead, so I would recommend you have a few friends download the game. After all, it is free. If there isn't anyone willing to download the game with you, there is always single player missions you can play as I'm doing here. As for the requirements, they're a bit higher than a couple of the other games on the list, but they're still fairly low. Number 2, APB Reloaded. This game has been around for a while. I always refer to it as a Walmart GTA, but no one ever agrees with me. This is a Cops vs. Robber game where you run objective based missions, get paired up with the opposition whether you're criminal or enforcer. Unless you're a bronze rank, odds are you're going to be running into some seriously skilled players, which is why I opted to easy robberies and taking stolen cars to the chop shop. I just wanted to avoid being slaughtered, since I still had my gold rank from the last time I played. Though even while doing these actions, if a player playing as an enforcer sees you, he can choose to go against you. As a criminal, you can always tell whether an enforcer is able to pull you into a mission or not by this little icon down here. Just don't forget to take your cash to the money laundry if you plan on taking that risk. Number 1, Defiance. Defiance is an open world mission based game, and honestly, that's pretty much all I got for this game. The requirements for the game are extremely low, which is perfect for those who have a low end computer, and I guess that explains why the game reminds me of the PlayStation 2 and Xbox days. Unless you have a low end computer, I wouldn't really recommend this game, but if you do happen to have a low end computer, the game is definitely a great start into the world of PC gaming to familiarize yourself with the keyboard and mouse. Abilities, weapons, missions, I mean, it's a multiplayer on an open world, so definitely a great start to PC gaming. Alright gamers, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you have any recommendations, we'll be more than happy to take them. Go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy some more of the gameplay.
Orbiter Void Cloak engaging. Welcome back, Operator. The Operator has recovered a segment. <laughs> Install it now! Orgus patiently awaits its installation. Get communications online. I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your Warframe. This technology is beyond the Grenier. It must be Corpus in origin. Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact all black market scumbags. Contact arms dealers. Excellent idea, Ordis. Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, operator? In this case, compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag.